Hi, pet lovers. Hi, poodle lovers. Thanks again for joining us on a very exciting episode in our poodle series for Gina's Grooming Channel. We are very honored to have a beautiful champion poodle with us, Ava, who's going to be showing us how to go ahead and do something called banding a tail. This is something you do for the poodle breed. And then I'm going to show you some tips and tricks of scissoring it to its desired shape. Because as you can see, a poodle tail is definitely part of their makeup, is part of their character and part of their beauty. So we really want to devote a, a few moments to talk about how we go ahead and handle this in between professional grooming visits. Okay, well anytime that we do any kind of work with any kind of coat, obviously, we want to make sure that that area is brushed out and not just brushed out, but also combed out with your metal comb. So part of being a poodle is having this really cute banded tail, okay, that comes in from the base of their tail and comes out just a few inches. Now, depending on whether or not you have a standard poodle or a miniature poodle, and the set of their tail is going to determine how long this band is. So just know that if you have to cover some imperfections, you're going to go ahead and set the tail a little differently depending on the dog's stature. Now, Ava, our subject today, is a gorgeous champion poodle, so her tail set is actually perfect. We're going to go ahead and start with shaving. You have a choice to either make this ending a round one or a going ahead into a V. I'm going to do a little bit more of a V to give a little character here. So I'm putting up the hair and going ahead. And I right now have my clipper. I can do on a 10 or on a 30. I'm going to go with my 10 first to set. I keep my finger where that tail set is because I don't want to go ahead and take off more than I bargained for. I want this line right here really nice and straight. I'm going to go back to that V in a second, but let's lift up. Okay, we're going up the tail to the same place where we stopped. Just make sure if you need to hold your fingers there, you can do so. Okay, now we're going back to this. This is how I do the V. I take my 10 and I flip it the other way. Okay, and then I'm going to finish this with a 30. And I edge my V with my 10 opposite. And then I can go ahead, flip my clipper to a 30, checking, make sure it's not hot. Okay, we're good. And then I finish with my 30, nice clean line. I just like to come in with it with a 10 so I can strategize. So now what are we left with? We have to go ahead and blend this into the tail set. So we have our curved scissors for this. Go ahead, and I want this to be a gradual change into the coat. I'm going to be using my scissors in a different direction to make this blend line nice and even. Okay, so we've got a nice, even little V stop. And then make sure that her, as it blends into her little cheeks, it's a nice, nice blend. Great. Now when you're cutting poodle hair, you're just going to be moving one blade of your scissors, which is your thumb blade. So any kind of scissoring, just remember that that's the technique. Okay, now for the tail, Ava's tail is left long, but I want to talk to you guys about what the usual bottle brush technique is, is you would go ahead, brush everything down, and then finish this line nice and straight on the bottom. Edge along. I'm going to go do the same thing on the other side. Now I'm just cutting the dead stuff off because Ava's owner likes her tail to be very big and puffy. So we leave it like that because it's gorgeous. So I'm going to go ahead, just finishing up because I'm just giving her a little trim. And then when you're scissoring, depending on how big you scissor, you split, you scissor along the lines this way, along the rear, okay, along the other side, okay, and then while I always finish, I lift up the tail and I finish the front, okay? Finishing off where I see it needs to be done. Okay, there we got it, a nice tail set, a nice clean banded tail for your poodle. 
All right, guys. Well, that is it. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this wonderful poodle episode about banding a poodle tail and how you would start to scissor that for the desired length that you wanted. Uh, thanks again for liking our channel, for subscribing, for more like it, and we'll see you next time. Thanks so much.